hi everyone hope you all doing well welcome back to our channel and in this video i'm going to talk about the onboarding process for linux for mde which is microsoft defender for endpoint now if you're watching the series from the beginning in the last video we have discussed about the process end to end which will be followed to make sure the machine gets onboarded in this video i'm going to demonstrate that process end to end and then we'll also talk about the three-stage process of onboarding and making sure the machine gets reflected on mde portal so just a quick recap about the deck that we have used in our last video which we are going to demonstrate in this particular video wherein we will be selecting a specific channel and then we'll, we will be installing the gpg package adding public key and installing stdps driver so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch to my machine that i will be onboarding to mde and i will demonstrate it end to end how exactly this process works so what you see now is one of my machine on which i have installed ubuntu 20.04 and I have initiated the command host name CTL. Now, this is just to show you guys the version of the server that I'm going to onboard. This is practically a VM. Now, for this platform, step number one is to go ahead and install curl. Okay. So I'm running a command which is sudo space apt hyphen get space install space curl. Okay. So there was a typo in my password. And I'm going to type my password again and let's see whether this installation goes through. As you can see, now the respective set of files are getting downloaded and curl is getting installed on this particular VM. Now, just FYI that this machine does not have any network restriction as of now implemented. So what do I mean by this? That this machine has access to complete internet okay now when you will be doing these steps in your uat or dev environment you may find some differences in terms of the speed in which all these things will get installed okay now the next step is to go ahead and configure libraries utilities so for that i'm doing sudo space apt hyphen get install libp list hyphen utils and as you can see again all the respective files are getting downloaded now as i said before that depending upon your network bandwidth at times these steps may take some more time comparatively to what i'm showing right now or at times it will be even quicker to what i am showing okay so now i'm going to clear the screen and we will move on with our third step and that is the process to initiate a request for configuring repositories okay so as you can see i'm using curl and that's the reason why that was the first step to install curl so that we can execute all these commands okay so now i'm typing curl hyphen no microsoft.list https packages.microsoft.com forward slash config forward slash ubuntu the name of my platform forward slash 20.04 now, if you guys remember, this is something which I've shown in the last video itself, that why there is a requirement of defining the channel, okay? Depending upon the channel, you can customize this link. You can use either inside a fast or a slow or the one which I have used, which is broad.list. It all depends upon your requirement. Now, the next step is to go ahead and configure right so what i'm doing sudo space mv space dot forward slash microsoft dot list forward slash the location itself which is forward slash etc forward slash apt sources dot list dot d forward slash microsoft hyphen prod dot list okay now once you're done with all this the next step is to go ahead and install the gpg package now when you install this the behavior that i have seen is g and upg package is also getting downloaded and configured as you can see it is there on the screen itself but let's say this step is failing for you for any reason there can be any reason network privilege or i mean assume that this step is failing for you then what you can do is 
once you get the error you know or once this step fails you can just go ahead and install the gnu pg package directly instead of installing jp gpg package to be very precise okay so for that what i can do is i can run sudo space apt hyphen get space install space jnupg now since it is installed for me you can clearly see it is showing me that this package is already installed and the current version is 2.219 hyphen 3.2.1 okay now the next step is to go ahead and register microsoft public key so for that i'm typing curl space https forward slash forward slash packages.microsoft.com keys microsoft.asc space pipe sudo space apt hyphen key space add hyphen i'm sorry there is a typo it has to be add hyphen and then there has to be a space in between so let me clear that perfect so now you can see this process of installation sorry installation of gpg package and the configuration of key is also completed now the next step is to go ahead and install https driver let's say if it exists for you on this or for your machine then you can just skip this part for that i'm just going to use this command which is sudo space apt hyphen get install app hyphen transport hyphen https and as you can see all the respective files are getting downloaded okay now again it all depends upon your environment how quickly all these processes are happening now the next step is to go ahead and update repositories so that all the changes that we have made should get aligned and we should get the expected behavior depending upon the requirements or depending upon the changes that we are going to implement that's it so now the update is also completed and it is showing me all the details i'll clear the screen and move on the next step is to go ahead and install the mdatp application since we have complete completed the configuration of repositories so now i'm going to run the command which is sudo apt hyphen get space install space mdatp now this is something where an mdatp application is getting installed in my environment typically this process takes around one and a half minutes so i've speed up the video just to reach this particular stage and show you guys the next step itself now what you can do is you can just type mdatp and you'll get uh, the list of all the commands that can be initiated to go ahead and check the respective details so for example what you can see right now is the health and it is showing org id as unavailable because this machine is yet not onboarded and in the health issues it is showing me missing license and healthy is showing as false you don't need to worry about this the moment you install mdatp application because you can actually go ahead and get the definition update supplied or get the machine onboarded now let's move on to the third section of onboarding script so that the machine can get onboarded to mde so for that what we will be doing is uh, we will be downloading the script but before that let me show you a command that can help you run the connectivity test to make sure your machine can contact the respective endpoints. For that, what you have to do is you have to type mdatp space connectivity and then type test. This will go ahead and check the connectivity of your machine with all the endpoints that a machine is supposed to reach in terms of making sure the onboarding process is going through this is a very good method of verifying the network configuration that you have already done either through firewall or through proxy that means in my environment i'll get the network configuration done first and then i'll run this command on a linux machine just to make sure that my machine is now able to communicate to all the respective endpoints okay this is a very good method and you should do it just to verify whether all the endpoints are accessible or not okay so i'll clear the screen now and now let's come back to browser once and show you uh, the list of the endpoints which are currently onboarded 
whereas this machine which has a host name of linux mde is something that does not exist okay so once we'll onboard the machine it will start getting listed over here so now i'll go ahead and download the onboarding package itself okay so for that i'll go to the onboarding section and here let me just quickly minimize this section yeah now i'll go ahead and select linux server and then i'm going to download the onboarding package now as i've said before that this onboarding package that you will be downloading will be basically a python script so make sure your machine also has python installed or python is available in whichever way you want to name this a step but we have to make sure python exists then only the script will be initiated okay so as of now it is a compressed folder what i'll do is i'm going to unzip this package first for that i'm going to type unzip and then i'm going to type the folder name itself which is windows defender adp now one more thing that you can keep in mind that though the name has been changed to mde but still there are some references which is having a keyword which is adp okay so now i have unzip the folder and this is the file that i'm going to run which is microsoft defender adp onboarding linux server.py now once i initiate this particular script with the command sudo space python3 space the name of the file itself what it will do it will create a json file which is having all the configuration i'll talk about this file in a lot more detail when we'll talk about the architectural view of mde for linux but as of now just keep this in mind a json file has been created and that has been saved to a specific location okay now once the onboarding part is completed it will take a couple of minutes what we'll do is we'll type mdatp health and what you can see now it is showing as healthy set to true and my org id is populated that means the process of initiating onboarding itself is completed and now it is going to take a couple of minutes to make sure the machine gets reflected on the portal itself which is security.microsoft.com so what i'll do is i'll go to device inventory section and i'll see if the machine is getting listed over here okay so it's not here i'll wait for a couple of minutes and i'll refresh the portal i waited around three minutes but i've you know uh, fast forwarded this particular recording just to show you guys that console when it gets listed so now what you'll see is linux mde that means the machine which we have just tried onboarding is getting listed over here we'll keep it for some time and then all the respective information or telemetry will be captured and everything will be populated so as you can see all these different tabs are now getting populated and after some time this entire information will be populated so if i talk about the three stage process this is what it is end to end once it has followed your machine will be onboarded to mde and it will start getting listed on the mde portal itself okay let's take a quick recap of what we have discussed in our first or previous video for linux this is the step-by-step -step process that we have followed defining channel installation of gpg then public key httpbs driver installation of mdatp application and lastly running onboarding script once these steps are followed end to end i can assure you your machine will be onboarded to mde console without having any issues so this was all about knowing how the onboarding process works how the installation of mdatp application happens and what all is required for you to make sure the machine gets onboarded to mde okay in the next video we are going to talk about the advanced configuration settings that you can do for mdatp on linux so if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community thank you so much thanks for your time